Because we're just on the cusp of earnings. I mean, this week yeah. we really get into it in earnest. There right. a lot of earnings. If, in fact, the interest rates were higher, if the Fed did what you wanted to do, how would that benefit the C-suite? How would that benefit Main Street? Uh, if, if interest rates were higher, at least there would be an honest price in the financial markets for borrowing versus not borrowing. Uh, you know, I, if you had honest interest rates, I don't think the C-suites would be borrowing trillions of dollars to buy back their own stock. It's an irrational decision. Mm -hmm. They're loading up their balance sheets with debt that they're going to carry for the indefinite future in order to buy some shares back today uh, and, 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 you know, goose their earnings by the quarter. That That isn't you know, that isn't productive investment. So uh, we're living a lie. That's all I can tell you. Uh, households are borrowing too much. You know, we had a warning in 208. You got too much debt. Households today have 15.6 trillion of debt, a uh, trillion more than they had back then. Business has 50% more debt today than they had back then. And we don't even have to talk about the government. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the point. Interest rates need to reflect economic reality. And as long as they're being deep suppressed by the Fed, you're essentially stimulating Wall Street. You're creating the greatest bubble in history when it collapses, which it will, like 2000, like 207, 208. Uh, we're going to have another uh, crisis. Okay.